Thank you, Navneet. Uh, we just got some breaking news here. Basically, we're talking about the fact that, uh, you know, the reports that we've seen just a few minutes ago that uh, the Indian Army spotted Pakistani fighter jets on the other side of the LOC uh, over the, the Siachen, uh, in the Siachen area. And that's a, a fairly serious uh, sort of uh, news breaking in and which is why we're looking at the market sort of tumbling down today once again. Uh, this is in retaliation uh, possibly. Uh, what the ANI is reporting is that the Pakistan has activated all outposts, all the army outposts around the Siachen area and therefore uh, the, the chances of an escalation seem to be higher than what it was earlier. We are not warmongering here. What we are just reporting is the facts that are coming out of ANI news agencies from the Kashmir area. We are now being joined by Brahma Chelani, Professor of Strategic Studies at the Center for Policy Research. Mr. Chelani, do you do please shed some light on this development. Uh, the, the, what happened yesterday where India, Indian Army took down a couple of army outposts uh, across the line of control and today uh, the fact that the Pakistani Army has activated uh, all its outposts near the LOC, uh, near in the Siachen area. What does it mean and what are the odds of uh, an escalation in this strife? India's patience with Pakistan is clearly very thin. There's no doubt about that. The fact that India has borne a series of uh, terrorist assaults backed by the Pakistan military since the uh, beginning of last year has increased pressure on the Modi government to respond. And the latest um, army actions are in response to the latest provocations by Pakistan, including the beheadings of two Indian soldiers and, um, and the shelling of some villages along the border. I don't see any prospect of a major escalation. For one, the Pakistani military is already quite tied down by development along its western frontiers. For example, the Pakistan-Afghanistan frontier right now is pretty tense. There have been uh, a number of uh, skirmishes between Pakistani and Afghan army soldiers. And Iran has stepped up pressure on um, Pakistan by giving up its security along the Iran-Pakistan border. Mr. Chalani, right the question now, is, the first question I want to ask is, in fact, I mean, yes, I know that there are strategic uh, reasons and factors at play. The first question I want to ask is, what is the credibility of this report coming in? Because it's coming in from the Pakistani media. Yesterday, after India released those videos of Indian Army shelling, uh, you know, the Pakistani outpost, uh, we, uh, there, there were reports that in Pakistan, there were other, uh, other videos being shown off as if, as if the Pakistani army had attacked uh, uh, the Indian outpost. At this point of time, Pakistan Pakistan media reporting that you know, the, you know, uh, there, there are fighter jets. All uh, all outposts around the Siachen area have been activated by the Pakistani army. Is there a reason to question the credibility of these reports or the, at the outset? Uh, yes, very much. So, for two reasons. One, military aircraft have little utility in the Siachen area. What can fighter jets do in the Siachen area? They are they cannot be utilized for any military mission. Second. Siachen is India's control, and for Pakistan to activate army outposts near Siachen Glacier means not little. The entire glacier is firmly in India's control. And second factor one has to bear in mind is that the Pakistan army has a history of denial. It denies facts even when the entire world agrees with the facts. For example, during the, during the Kargil War, they, they refused to accept that their soldiers had actually encroached into Indian territory and were battling Indians. And when a number of Pakistani soldiers were killed, the Pakistani government refused to take back the bodies of the slain Pakistani soldiers. All this is part of the history of denial. So that when India releases videos of punitive strikes by Indians M on Pakistani outposts, the Pakistani army is in deny. Mr. Chalani, the question is, uh, so, so I, I, I take your point, uh, you know, of course, Pakistan is always in denial and of course uh, does not, uh, the Pakistani army does not bear the responsibility of warmongering that the way it does. Uh, the, my question is that, uh, you know, we have, we have set out the fact that, uh, you know, these reports coming in from the Pakistani media may not be entirely credible uh, because, you know, at a time that when we say we at a, when, when the surgical strikes happened, even then there were uh, completely erroneous reports coming in from Pakistan. 
so therefore uh, investors right now trading in the market uh, spooked by the turn of events must keep this in mind that these reports may not be entirely true uh, but having said that there is no reason why this matter may not escalate but again remember the the reports that are saying that there are fighter jets pakistani fighter jets near siachen that is completely not possible that's what mr chelani is saying because there is no way that fighter jets can be deployed in an area like siachen uh, from what we know from uh, you know past reports that uh, you know in siachen what armies use both on this side of the border and the other is our choppers there are speci specialty choppers which are used to take uh, uh, you know military men as uh, the service men as well as uh, supplies for them uh, not fighter jets so there is a reason to question the credibility of these reports uh, but having said that uh, uh, the the point that mr chelani is making is that india's patience with pakistan is running out uh, you know india will uh, has tried to send out messages and there is no reason why there won't be any retaliation we are running out of time mr chelani thank you for your uh, insights and uh, your perspective we will keep coming back to you as and when this news develops uh, at this point of time uh, the markets are reacting to this and which is why we are marking this news we saw a sharp correction yesterday in the closing minutes of the trade for a similar reason today once again markets have given up all the gains from the morning mayuresh joshi from angel book